morning and welcome to another day in my life. Here's what my schedule and priorities look like today. I want one place to see what I'm focusing on. a few things that I need to get done in the office. So I thought I will take you along with me for a little day in my life. Um, I have a few things that I need to finish off before I go off on holiday. And then I have some evening plans. So yeah, you're coming with me. First, I can't function without coffee, and I actually get a headache if I don't have one by 12. I don't buy it often as the costs do rack up, but when I do, it's such a nice treat. My usual order is an extra hot oat milk flat white. For those who don't know me, I'm a lead data analyst at a tech startup in London. It's been about 10 months now and honestly, I feel like I'm already part of the furniture here. Every day is different, so here's what my schedule and priorities look like today. First up, I have an Insights team stand-up. It's basically just me, my manager and my co-worker where we share our priorities and blockers. Then I have a product analytics tool demo with my VP of product. We are exploring better ways to track app events and build funnels and we had a company come in and do a demo for their product. Then I will be spending some time automating the clustering script. Not too long ago, I have built a user segmentation model, which needs to be refreshed monthly. However, my priorities have shifted straight after, which meant that I did not dedicate the time to fully automate it. I will be working on streamlining the scripts and turn them into a proper pipeline, which runs automatically at month end. My office has a small gym, so I normally work out at lunchtime, but today I swapped the gym for a nice long walk because the weather was just too beautiful and I did not want to stay inside. I couldn't resist checking out a few stalls and stores in Spitalfields Market and take a well-needed break from my desk. I actually really enjoy spending lunches alone, I don't know if that's weird, but I feel like I get to rest my social battery and recenter before the afternoon. ended up wandering around the shops for too long. I needed to get a few things for my holiday, which I didn't find anyway. But I ran out of time and used up my lunch break, so we are on a rooftop, which is insane. And I'm not cold. So I'm gonna have quickly have my bagel and crack on with work because I have quite a lot left to do uh, for the rest of the day. For context, I'm part of the Insights team, which means most of my work is deep dive analytics, figuring out what's driving changes to our metrics and user behavior. My projects tend to be longer and need proper planning, but in a fast-paced startup, priorities shift every five minutes. <laughs> Since there is only me and one other person in the team, I need a better way to show what I'm working on, how I'm prioritizing, and make it easier for my product and growth team to challenge or reshuffle things when needed. 
So I met with my stakeholders last week to get feedback around what I delivered to date, what they need more visibility on, and how we can work better together. Based on these conversations, here's how I'm approaching planning my work for next year. First, I'll be introducing monthly check-ins with all stakeholders to review and prioritize my backlog together. This will give them an opportunity to include new asks or reprioritize old ones. I will be shifting our roadmap sessions to shorter three-month cycles, which is where we identify and slot in big insights work. And then I'll be upgrading my task tracker. Instead of only showing work completed, I will now use it to track work in progress and next priorities. This gives everyone one place to see what I'm focusing on, what's coming up, and helps me politely bat away or properly include more ad hoc requests. What's happening? My hair, but it's just not. It's not it. I'm very grateful for the hair straighteners at work. 